Hi everyone. We're excited that you're all joining us from everywhere around the world for our second to last team leadership webinar for this year. Uh, welcome to the Cotters Leadership Webinar. We live on the Sunshine Coast in Australia, as many of you know. It's not sunny today, but we need the rain. So we're excited that you're here. We have a phenomenal lineup of really beautiful and special, important people that you're going to hear from today. Lots of value on this webinar. Make sure you've got a pen and paper in hand and or you're taking screenshots. You don't want to miss any of this information. And I'll go through what we usually do when it comes to our um, agenda. First of all, we have recognition. We want to make sure that you're recognised. We want to make sure, particularly if you're new to our webinar today, that you feel welcome and we want to welcome all new associates who've joined our team as well. We have Denny Robinson, who is a presidential diamond in ASEA. We heard from Denny nearly a year ago, actually. She is an amazing woman. She's going to talk about some of the concepts that came up at the Diamond Summit and the Ambassador Extension Program, but mostly what Tyler was talking about. So it is a great honour and a privilege to have Jenny, Denny joining us from Spokane today. We have Triple Diamond out of Singapore, Kevin Ho. Kevin's story is amazing and I'm so glad that he's joining us. I think it's 6am or something crazy, maybe earlier in <laughs> Singapore today to share his story with us. And we have Triple Diamond Lorene Bavart who's going to join us and share her phenomenal journey, her story and her excitement about going Triple Diamond. And we have the beautiful Michelle Williams, who has a fantastic story when it comes to setting an intention, manifesting, committing 100% to her goals to achieve gold executives. So, yeah, we're excited. And we're going to go through a little bit of information to make sure that you're using the SEA Connect, you know where to go. Uh, it's a brilliant tool that was launched, as you know, at conventions. So we're going to cover a little bit of that. And also to make sure you're all ordering and starting your Amiga um, the ASEA VIA new supplement. So you need to get on that and we'll share a little bit of a information on where to go to get some of your tests done so that you can see what your amigo levels are like. Also, we're going to touch on global expansion. There's meetings happening. There's a pre-launch in the Philippines. Um, Mal with Dr Silverman will be in Malaysia along with a whole bunch of other leaders. Denny can let you know where she will be. But we want to make sure, particularly with the positioning here in Australia, for those of you who live here, what's happening in Asia so you can be a part of that and promote people to go to these events. We'll cover promotions and incentives, particularly how to achieve ascent, which is the big one in Dubrovnik, Croatia, that I know a lot of you are working towards. We want to touch on that. And of course, we're going to go up through some upcoming events. The main one being Alan Noble, whom we're excited to have here on our shores next week. So we want to make sure that you are being able to promote and get people to these events because Alan is, as most of you know, absolutely amazing leader and we are so lucky to have him coming out here. We start with our recognition. We don't want to miss anybody. So we want to go through Director 300s for the last four weeks since our last webinar. So congratulations to all the Director 300s who are listed here on these slides. This is week 40. So well done to each and every one of you. This is a beautiful beginning with ASEA. It is. And, and Director 300 is such an important rank because if you can just duplicate helping people get to Director 300 and and build your business, you can build a presidential triple diamond business, literally by just creating the duplication. You help enough people get to director 300 and you'll certainly rank advance uh, right, up, right up to the rest of the ranks. So it is a pinnacle, a pinnacle place. So huge congratulations to all the new director 300s. This is week uh, 42. Uh, we've gone through week 40, 41 and 42 of the new director 300s. Make sure that you reach out to the names of the people in your team and let them know that they've been recognised today so that they uh, feel special, appreciated, and it can be used as motivation to keep them going. Week 43, more of the, more of the Director 300s. So excited. I'm not reading the names because I can't pronounce half of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> Director 700 now. Yeah, this is uh, doing 700 points on the left, 700 points on the right. Obviously, you're, you're active with a, an order, and, uh, and obviously, you're as building and growing your team. So these are the new Director 700s. Uh, congratulations to, to all the Director 700s, week 40, and this is week 41. 
these uh, these slides go out on social media as well. So you may know through the different recognition sites. I know on our Team Builders Global Facebook page, but Dream Struggle Victory as well. We have um, these slides go out to people on those sites so that they um, can also be celebrated that way. Absolutely. So week 43. And all just an amazing group of, uh, of leaders growing and, and developing here. Um, Director 700s as you're growing this, this is week 43 still. And now we're on to the bronze, bronze executive. Executives. This is a very exciting rank. This is the first uh, executive rank. Uh, at the bronze level, you've created 2,000 points on the left side of your business, 2,000 points on the right side. This is a weekly qualification. You also uh, open the door for, um, for the EMP bonus, executive momentum pool, where you get to participate in a percentage of the global sales. That's one thing I love about ASEA is as we, uh, you know, we, we actually support the whole, the whole company because um, as you're in the, in, the, in the pools, the executive momentum pool and the diamond pools, you're participating on all the global sales. So there really is a great synergy that goes on these ranks. So, and also important for Croatia to qualify at these ranks as well. Did you mention that? Uh, no, but that is the, the qualification, qualification to go to the ascent promotion. So we'll go through that a little bit later, but yeah, absolutely. So you want to get to the bronze level so that you can qualify for that incredible incentive. Um, and depending on how many times you qualify by at that rank and above, um, the company will actually help pitch in for being able to participate in that fantastic leadership event. Uh, now we're on to the silver executives. Uh, silver, this is doing 3,000 points on your left, 3,000 points on your right. Um, at the bronze level, you have to have two director 300s that you personally sponsored, two director 300 legs. At the silver, it's three. So you're building, you're growing your team. Um, and this is, a, this is a great advancement. Um, and starting to reap the financial rewards on a bigger scale. The gold level, and this is a pretty significant jump. Um, the gold is doing 5,000 points on the left side of your business, 5,000 points on the right side of your business. And so it's, uh, it's, it's um, definitely a major, a major pin level. And the other thing is you've got to have an additional director 300. So now at this level, you've got three legs of your, three personally sponsored legs of your business that, have, uh, that are director 300 or above. Um, the platinum level, you add another director 300 leg as you're building and growing your business. And this is doing 10,000 points on the left side, 10,000 points on the right side. Uh, this is a major, uh, a major pin level position. It's the rank right before we go into the diamond ranks. Um, but these people are definitely gems. They're, they're building, growing their teams and really developing their leadership skills. Congratulations, Dorothy. <coughs> now we're going to go into the two leaders who blew straight through double diamond and went to triple diamond. Um, Kevin Ho went double diamond in week 41. And then week 42, the next week after he advanced to triple diamond. So huge congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> we're Absolutely. so excited for you. And then Lorene did the same thing. So oh, in week 42, she went double diamond. And then last week, she achieved the prestigious rank of triple diamond. And so just shortly, well, you'll, be, you'll be hearing from these two superstars. Yeah. Uh, so we want to we definitely talk to them about, uh, about their journey a little bit. Covering the top, the specialty awards for Australia. So top associate enrollers uh, for week 40. Just so exciting, all these names on this list for going out there and doing what this business needs, and that is to talk to people, sponsor people, bring them in. So congratulations to every single one of you. This is the following week. So congratulations. And week 42. And this is obviously out of the top 10 uh, for, and this is for the Australian market. That's right. Exactly. So a lot of phenomenal uh, qualifications for that week, for week 42 and week 43. So congratulations to all of you. A lot of similar names of people who have um, been, uh, have achieved the Reach for the Beach incentive in December in Bali in Australia. And a lot of the rank advancements, you'll see similar names who are also achieving these specialty awards. So congratulations to the following emerging leaders in week 40. The way that you... Uh get into this and these positions is by helping your team rank advance so as you're helping to grow your team helping them to achieve it really that's what i love about this is the whole synergy of 
building and growing your team. So congratulations to the emerging leaders for, uh, for week 40 through 44. Well done. So exciting. Autoship All-Stars. So week 40, congratulations to the following associates who are building a lot of stability in their organization through their team, which is really important in this business. So we see the same names every month and every, every month of the year and every week, literally this, it's- This phenomenal. is where you really wanna set yourself, set yourself and set, it, set your team up for success, making sure that they're on an auto ship order uh, so that they don't, uh, so that you consistently have the, uh, the benefits of, you know, of that residual income and the benefits of the product as well. So that you're really, like I say, setting people up for success. Last week, the um, top associate enrollers, was the port, report couldn't be pulled from the virtual office. So congratulations to all of you who achieved that. Uh, top EMP earners. So well done. This is really exciting for the people who are in the top 10 for this particular category, because wow. every cent you earn is because you're helping people. You're making mm -hmm. a really huge difference. And every single one of the top 10 is, uh, is in Australia from our team. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty exciting to see the, the people who have achieved this. Um, Christine and Steve, you guys are right there at the top each week. Yeah. Just a, a huge congratulations to you guys for, uh, for what you're doing here. This is really exciting. The EMP, as I mentioned, is a percentage of the global sales and it increases from bronze up to the platinum rank. So um, it has to do with your PGB3, your personal group three levels in depth. So you score the points and you get uh, your percentage grows based on how big your team is in those levels. So fast forward <coughs> and fast forward plus each month. It's phenomenal to recognize the people who are building, building stability yet again in their business, but also really phenomenal momentum. So fast forward is um, some of you know, but some of you may not know, it takes approximately 14 days for new enrollments. They can be associates, preferred customers and 800 promo points. So here are the following leaders in our team who achieved fast forward in the month of October. And it's, it equals $610 in cash and free products. So 25 Renew 28 sample tubes and 100 ASEA loyalty reward points, which is equivalent to $201 in value. So this is substantial, particularly along with the fast start bonus. So pat yourselves on the back if you're on this list and please reach out to your team if you weren't aware that they did achieve a fast forward in the month of October. The cool thing about the fast forward is ASEA is rewarding you significantly extra for doing what you want to do anyway. Yeah. And that's just going out and talking with people. But they, if you think of this as a little bit of a game and you're playing this game to bring in, you know, four people in this certain, you know, period of time, uh, you're going to get a lot of extra incentives. So I love how they create the, the fast forward and the other incentives for us to just encourage us to, to build the way that we want to build our business and teams anyway. And it's phenomenal to help your new associates launch with a fast forward as part of their launch plan because they can easily achieve the director bonus in that strategy as well. And fast forward, it's the same time frame in terms of fast forward plus, I should say, eight new enrollments and 1,200 promo <clears throat> points in that same time frame of the 14 days. So congratulations to the following four associates who have achieved that in the month of October. And it is equivalent to 1,124 um, Australian dollars in cash and products. So well done, congratulations. We're really excited for you. Now we're gonna tr transition to our first special guest speaker, which is the one and only Denny Robinson. So I'll just stop the share and make sure that she's online with us. There she is. So we'll go to Denny. Hey, Denny. Thank you so much for joining us. We're excited. Just need to, I'll just un, unmute you. We can't hear you yet. Let me see. Um, Let's see, Denny, we can't hear you. I'm just gonna mute audio and then unmute. Okay. Denny, can say something, see if we can hear you. Can yeah, you hear she me? Is. Maybe well, one of the other panelists Talk to see if it's on our end. Mel, can you say something? Uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Yep. Can you can you hear okay. me? Let me let me just uh, I'll just go right. right back. In. Oh, we can hear. Uh, Denny, we can, can hear, hear you Denny. now. It might have been our volume was down a little I, bit. So. I can hear her. Yep, you're on, Denny. Thank Great. you. Well, 
It's such a joy to be here with all of you. Let me tell you, I love these leaders. Boy, I just want to be on this call and be part of this group because I have never seen a more succinct team letter than the one that Melissa and Bart Cotter put out. It is amazing, you guys. You know, and if you wish here, yeah, Melissa, what you do, and you know, as you often hear from your fearless leader, Ed Weens, you know, you got to get under the spout where the information is coming out. And every bit of information that you're going to want to need or know is certainly uh, coming out from that, from that letter. And I'm really excited to be here because as Bart and I were brainstorming about what we wanted to talk about today, we both have been in the profession for a long time, you guys. We've, got, we've had fun, we've had accolades, but we've had bumps and bruises. And I know Mal has as well. And so compared to me just going on and on today, I thought we'd just have a little bit of a coffee shop chat and well more perfect, Mal will notice this one. They just, oops, they just gave us this one on the ambassador trip, lovely, lovely. The gifts they give, the experiences we get are just second to none and worth every bit of work that it takes to get there. And huge congratulations to our new triple diamond, Lorraine, wow, just, one two punch, girlfriend. Man, I just, I just thought of you over there being Wonder Woman because that was a wonderful, amazing accomplishment. So congratulations. So I'm going to turn it back over to Bart and Melissa. And again, you guys, we're just going to have a great conversation, just some real, some real talk about what it takes to build this business and things that we've seen along the way. And one thing that you all need to always remember is just look at us as our older, wiser, sager grandparents. We've either, either done it, we've fixed it, we've heard about it, you know, and so hopefully, you know, we've had these bumps and bruises, kind of think of yourself like a pinball machine sometimes, right? It's like, oh, that didn't work, boop, 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 boop. And so hopefully we can just shorten that path for you so that you don't have to experience some of those things. So Bart, over to you. <laughs> you know, the, the one thing, you know, we, like you said, just back from Hawaii, what a what a fantastic oh, incentive amazing. incentive trip that would be the Diamond Summit, and then for those that qualified um, for you and Mel that qualified for the Ambassador Extension, what they renamed as the Legacy Experience, it really is yeah. a great opportunity. The trips, but the one thing I was just thinking before about also is for some of the people who are brand new on this call that may not really know your story, um, we don't have to go into a lot of depth. And I know we did that before, but. Uh, but you grew up in a pretty, you grew up in a pretty small place. Was it Thane? Uh, was it Thane, wasn't it? It was a pretty small place in Montana. Mm -hmm. um, just to give you, a, I mean, I had 28 people in my graduating class. And I'd been with them since second grade. And it was basically, the whole school was on one piece of property, right? And so you knew everybody. And one thing I like about that experience, though, Bart, is um, KPMG, a, a large major accounting firm in the United States and, and globally, one time there was this guy who did this little bit of a, um, he had a theory that said, you know, he, he put a survey out and said, how many of you came from towns of, you know, a million, 500,000, 100,000, 75,000, and kind of kept breaking it down. For me, what that experience did growing up in a small town, and I actually graduated as a junior, I took two years in one. When you look at what I did in my high school, it, it's like this big, because if you did anything, you did everything. To give you guys a visual, I would sing the national anthem because I was a singer, then I would change into my cheerleading outfit, then I would change into my drill team outfit, right? And you got to do track, then you would get to do basketball. You got to do anything that you chose that you wanted to do. And I think that compared to some um, people who grow up in a very large environment in a high school, it's like you might get to do one thing. For me, it always made me go, well, I can do that. I never had some of those limiting beliefs. And even now, sometimes when I've driven back to where I live, it's a small town, you guys. There was a blinking light. And I, I'm like, what was it that made this little girl from Montana, a little cowgirl, think that she could do this. She could be, do, and have anything she wanted. And uh, I was surrounded by some people and my, my dad had some friends who had all been just incredible entrepreneurs. They had been teachers though, they'd been bakers who all became hugely successful. And they had a dream and a vision and then they kind of went to work doing the smallest minutia. 
And Bart, I think that, and, and I think that Lorene would agree with this. I think it all starts with that great big dream. And then you've just got to break it down to the smallest psychological <laughs> daily actions. You know, I always see Lorreen in the gym and I know for her to be that world-class athlete, it just didn't just happen. It was blood and sweat and tears and every day, every day, every, you know, those action steps. And Bart, you know, you as well. And, you know, Bart, you, we were talking about when you used to live in Hawaii, it'd be hard to live in Hawaii and go to work sometimes. <laughs> But I'm sure it's like that in Australia, too. But anyway, that's a little bit what I did. Um, got married young, um, actually before I was 19, but I'd already went to two years of college, you guys. Um, Tom and I had a baby. I got into direct sales. Um, I got into Tupperware. I went to my first meeting and found out that managers drove company cars. And I said, well, that's what I want to do. In two, two months, I had my first company car. I then put Tom through college and graduate school selling Tupperware. Came out of graduate school with no debt, money in the bank, and uh, then got involved in a company that you guys were in, involved in as well, right? And let me tell you, what got me so excited about that, even after being a top manager in the nation, nobody ever came up to me with tears in their eyes and said, Denny Robinson, thank you so much. You keep my food so fresh. Never. <laughs> never happened. But when I had gotten involved with a health company, when you started to see that you could make a difference for people, that got me really excited. Plus, in Tupperware, it was direct sales. And I had to start my business five different times. But I had to leave all of my organization. I got to transfer with the title, but I had to rebuild it. So I knocked on doors, I cold called, I did whatever I could do to put myself in front of people. And we didn't have the internet that time, so it was belly to belly, making friends. And um, so hence another company, but as Bard, Melissa, and many of you would know, you can have a great company and a great product, but if you don't have the right corporate structure, things can fall apart and they've lost their way. Yeah. And so for me, uh, it'll be 10 years on December 5th. And when Trish and Bob Schwinkler and my husband and I flew down to Salt Lake City and met the founders of the company, you guys, I didn't understand all the science. Um, I have a PhD, a public high school diploma and two years of college, but I had a daughter who'd been very sick. Many of you know her, Alyssa Favreau, who's now a diamond in a SIA. And um, she'd had a cellular breakdown. And so when I heard about this product, and at the end of the day of meeting with Gary Samuelson, the founders, when I asked what would this stuff do for this kind of conditioner malady in the body, when Gary Samuelson leaned forward and said, Denny, does what you're describing have a cell involved? I said, I get it, I'm in. And so then it took me a year to get in, really engaged because we were building our dream home. I was the general, but I just went on a molecular mission, Bart and, and Melissa, and it's taken me around the world. I can't believe where I get to go this next year. And I, you know, the other, just being at the event with all of you, I mean, there was a couple times that I just, I just cried thinking, I can't believe this is our life. I can't believe that I get to associate with these world-class world changers. And, you know, going to dinner with people for, for a birthday, you know, in Hawaii and just going, these relationships I never would have had if not for this incredible profession of network marketing that gives you such freedom such an opportunity to make a difference. You know, Tom and I often talk and about people who, uh, you know, a regular job, which are great, but they often go into retirement and they're, they don't know what they're gonna do. I'm so excited because even later, when maybe I've retired from not working on my business, but being in my business at the level that we are right now, I get to continue to make a difference. We get to travel, we get to be with people and not think, what's that one trip we're gonna take every year? You know, it's just an incredible way to continue through your entire life and to have that residual income. So isn't that incredible, Bart? It, it absolutely is and I wanted, and what's really amazing, I think a lot of people look for why I can't, you know, why, I, why I'm not able to, and just to, to hear your story, your experience, you just don't know what's behind the lives that people lead and where they've come from. So I really appreciate you sharing that because 
you know, I think we all, you know, you certainly could have had a million excuses. I lived in this little town. I didn't know anybody. You know, some people have those kind of excuses, but you just made the decision. And, you know, one of the things that I really appreciated was Tyler Norton's talk when we were at the Diamond, at the Diamond Summit. And he talked about gathering. He actually talked about this a little bit at, uh, at the convention as well. And I know we were chatting a little bit about, about gathering. I know you do a lot with, with social media, but sometimes people look for the, for the easy way out. You know, do I just send an email? Do I just send a text message? Do I just put a post on Facebook? But it really is about the connections. And I think that you've really mastered the art of gathering because that really is about the relationships that we build. I'd like you to talk just a little bit about how you gathered people together and created that team synergy in the beginning. And then we'll kind of look at what you've done and, and how you've expanded that in different ways that, that, uh, that people can, can gather and build those relationships and connections. Yeah, I'd love to. You know, Bart, even with ASEA, um, there wasn't a financial need when I got started. And it was difficult, you guys. I was the first person walking around Washington and Montana talking about salt water from Salt Lake City that tastes a little bit like pool water. So you can imagine the skepticism that I had, right? And it wasn't that I had to do this. Um, I literally would come home some nights and tell Tom I could be working at 7-Eleven, making more money than I am right now, right? Because there are the different stages to network marketing. There is the stage where you're doing the work and you're not getting paid. Then you're doing some work and you're starting to get your, your real retail bonuses, your fast start bonuses, and you know your preferred customers. But then there's that magical piece of network marketing where you start getting paid for things you never do see or touch. That's when all of a sudden that first person scrolls across your dashboard, you're like, I don't know that name because you weren't involved in a conversation, a three-way call, and that's where it really gets magical. Um, so when I started, it'll be nine years in um, January, my house was done, I'd done the landscaping, and I decided to do a once a week luncheon in my husband's office. And so here's what we did. We started to invite, and I had a friend, you guys, it's always great to get a friend who wants to be on board with you. It makes a lot of fun. And we decided to do a once a week luncheon to invite people to a breakthrough technology, which was having dramatic results in people's health and well-being. By the way, lunch is included. Would you like to come? And it's only one hour. And we started to invite people. We would go to Safeway, get a 12 inch sandwich, cut it in one inch pieces, have some satsumas and some water. We learned not to have crunchy chips, um, but I like the luncheon aspect because people didn't have to order a meal. They literally would come in and I had them in and out in an hour. Now, what happened? So I did it by myself for a couple of weeks and people started bringing more people. Now, as soon as someone started to come back, I'd actually get them involved in their own testimonial. Um, I'd have even people talk a little bit more about the product. And then quickly someone said, well, I can never come on a Wednesday to a lunch. And I just said to them, oh, well, that's okay. I do them on Thursdays. Then I had to run to Tom's office and go, can I use your conference room on Thursdays too? So we started then doing a Thursday. Then someone come, came to us and said, you know, I'm about 35 minutes away. I have friends I'd like to to listen to this, but it's kind of far. I've always believed that it's easier for one person to travel than to try to have a lot of people from a different area. So we started a Tuesday luncheon. Then someone said, gosh, on another area of town, about 35 minutes away, could you come to a Monday night? So we started it at a pizza shop in this back room. So then we had a Monday night, a Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, a Thursday, and someone else wanted to do a Thursday night. So what we do, we said, yeah, we can come and we can do that. Now, now, the magical thing about network marketing that I had learned long ago, it's important what you do, and I was willing to do the do, but it's more important what you duplicate that will ultimately determine your long-term success. So by this time, I'd recruited, you know, some chiropractors and a, and a pharmacist, and they helped me do the meeting. And let me tell you, I had been known for um, I like, I might ask you, Bart, can you do the meeting on Thursday night? And you'd be like, oh, Denny, I'm not quite sure. And I'd be like, okay, okay. I've called people even that night. I'm like, ah, ah, I'm so sick. I can't come. Because kind of like that mama, I kind of had to push people out to let them know they could do it. Now, you guys, a couple things right here I want you to realize. The reason you want people to tell their testimonials, something magical happens when people hear their own voice. 
right? It increases their own belief and their own strength. And it's so important that you let people talk. Now, when you let people start to do the meeting, they're not gonna do it as well as you are, I promise. But for those of you who have children on here, if you've ever wanted your children to start to clean the bathroom, they never do it as good as you. But if you don't let them start somewhere, you're always gonna be cleaning the bathroom yourself, right? So, and it's important that it's not always the most polished person in the room who's doing the meeting, right? It's important that people go, if they can do it, I can do it too. And that you're cycling people through and showing people that they can go up the ranks. So we did that and that's how I built. It wasn't even through the, till the last few years that we've done a lot on social media. It was a girlfriend who taught me how to develop RSE, a healthy self site, which has, I don't know about you guys, but that's been, that has transformed my business, transformed it. And then of course, with ASEA United, as my organization grew, as much as I'd like to, there's just not enough time in the day for me to call enough people that I feel like I can touch. So that's why we created ASEA United, that we've, what we try to do, and for all of these, anytime you've got to do something more than three times, create a tool, right? Because I, I've heard so many of our top leaders, I'm like, how many times have you answered that question, right? Let's make a tool. And many of our doctors that we all know and love, they could spend from 6.30 a.m. to 11.30 at night pretty much doing the same thing. Hope, hopefully all of you know that we created about 10 different doctors with 10 different topics that they all answered in, in you know, pretty succinct ways that you can always access a doctor. You don't have to wait to get on a three-way call. The other thing I do a lot of is um, messaging with my phone because sometimes when you do a three-way call, you have to figure out a time and place in space that you can make that three-way call. When someone does a three-way chat with me, that can happen, you know, kind of when it's convenient. And as much as I would like to always do a, a connect call for a welcome to the team, it's so easy when someone puts me in messenger. First of all, I can send a voice text, I can edify the person, and the, the uh, conversation is then ongoing. Um, the other thing I do, literally, and I do, did this yesterday again, when I've met somebody in town, I'm still pretty social, but when people ask me what I'll do, I'm like, oh my gosh, can we be Facebook friends? And they're like, sure. Typically, I ask them to pull up their Facebook and I add myself as a friend, right? The person with the contact wins, right? I don't have to have handed a big business card. When I see their request, I always take a snapshot of it. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, as soon as I get home, I'm going to send you a request to add you to this private secret group. There's about 100,000 people in it with tens of thousands of tes testimonials with an incredible technology. And I often ask people, gosh, are you more interested in anti-aging, uh, athletics, or are there are some concerns you have in your body? Now, you always tag people in the pin post, and then you always tag them in, if you haven't done it yet, to, um, write your own testimonial and put it into a see a healthy self. The reason you want to do that is because at that moment, you're the most important person to them. And then when they read your story, again, it's duplicatable. When they join, when they invite someone else into the business, guess what? They can say, this is my sponsor. And they get, that person can read your story. Again, so I believe that whatever you do person to person now through social media, you can do so much faster. So I'm totally online to offline, offline to online, okay? So I've just merged it. And again, it's exponentially started to help me gather and create people in an atmosphere that is um, educational, it's uplifting, it's inspiring, and extremely, did I say educational? Yeah, but, and validating for what the business is and what the product is. So. We started with the see a healthy self. We've got to see a wealthy self, which is telling testimonials of what the business is doing for people. And then ASEA United is um, another training site. I know that uh, Bart and Melissa, Mal, I think you put things in there again. The reason I want that, and I made that for everybody, because at this point, I'm all about my global business. It's not about my team. It's about ASEA and one team, one dream. And if people are in the scroll hole anyway, I want them scrolling 
through stories of how they can build their dreams. You know, years ago, I made a decision, I'm a, I'm a very avid reader, to only read things that were really gonna propel me, maybe not make someone else's dream come true. So I try to read really inspiring, self-help, network marketing kind of things. And so by doing that in some of these educational things, you're gonna go, if they can do it, I can do it too. And I believe one of the four most powerful words that will ever come out of your mouth are, I can do that. I'm sure that Lorraine, when she was in the ring and she saw people, she's like, I can do that. Yeah. And you know, it's so amazing. My little fifth grader um, granddaughter there and I, we were at a cross country team and there was a little fifth grader girl who's already a national runner. And man, Lorraine, as she came across that finish line, this look on her face, I'm like, I mean, she owned it. There was no question in this little girl's mind where she was going to be and what she was going to do. And um, so anyway, you guys, I hope that you use those sites to gather people. And then of course, for me, social media is then getting people into perhaps a weekly event, a mm -hmm. monthly event, a regional event. And then of course our bigger thing, where it's all about event to event. Yeah, that's, that's pretty powerful. I mean, as you're talking about the, the theme of gathering, it really is, is uh, I mean, there's just a keen awareness of what you've created here for us to help gather. And you've also given us really great insights in terms of creating, you know, a messenger group so that you've got a conversation that continues. So it could be a, one or two people, or as they bring on a, a team or a few people, you're sharing different things and you can track what you've sent and how you've communicated with them. So that's actually uh, a, a key thing that, to tell you the truth, I just picked up myself. I've done a little bit of that, but it's but when you brought that to my attention, I thought, you know what, that's a really great way to really stay connected. Now, the other thing with the, uh, um, with the Facebook groups, mm -hmm. um, I, I love the idea of, of sharing your story, but tagging people into that. So when, in, if, if people don't understand the mechanics of that, right at the beginning, you've go, you can go to ASEA United and there's information right there on exactly how to add, tag, and message. It's pretty simple, yeah. but if you're new to it, you might think, you know, I'm not sure if I know how to do that. So I know Mal Sword's not, not the technical wizards. So there's the information for Mal how to, how to do that. <laughs> it's, it's, um, you guys, it's so, and it's really like message, add tag message. You used to be able to simply add someone to a site, which is kind of spammy. Now yeah. they actually have to accept the invitation. So for me, I've either talked to someone verbally that said, I'd like to add you, is that okay? or I sent them a message that I'm gonna add you, let me know when you've accepted it. So you tag them in the pin post, you tag them, I would say in your story, if you don't have one yet, tag them in your upline story. Then I always tag them, if for those of you guys who know my daughter Alyssa, and I have a, a story of my son who cut his head badly, and I always tag them and say, this is my son, this is my daughter, and then there's you know one of me, then I tag them in kind of what they were interested in. So anti-aging, the Renew 28, athletics, you know, they might have mentioned a, a malady. You guys, we try to stay away from those in there. So it's sometimes it's best to search by symptoms, but there's a lot of names in there as well you could probably search for. And then just so you know, if you typed in scars or joints, What's gonna happen is everything that has those words in it is gonna go brrr, like an encyclopedia. It's amazing and it's story after story. So the reason that we gather people, that we've always brought people to meetings is it's validation. Like when you bring someone to a room with a hundred people, they're like, whoa, there must be something going on here, right? But all of a sudden when you bring them into that Facebook group, there's a hundred thousand people with tens of thousands of testimonials. And uh, one thing I was telling Bart last night, right now the highest ranking associate in the Philippines is actually my daughter, Alyssa, who you guys made a relationship on Facebook that we've never met, who then introduced us to somebody in California who I've never met, who then put a gal, um, got us on a phone call from the Philippines, who really wasn't interested, but we put her in healthy self. She would go completely dark on me for months and was in the site for over a year and a half and then sent us some questions. Our, um, her husband's a doctor 
And she said, she, she goes, I, I never told you this, but I would stay awake at night sometime and read those testimonials. And I would wake up my husband and say, could this be real? Is this true? And he would say, no, you can't do that. That's not possible. And then they had some very sick people and their own specific need with a daughter who actually couldn't get pregnant and who's now had a baby. And it wasn't an email. It wasn't a three-way call. It was those stories, story after story after story. And so as I mentioned, when I've met someone in town before and tagged them in some of those posts, I've literally had people in a few hours text me and go, how do I get this stuff? It's made it so easy because again, it's, I don't have to be in front of my computer. This is before I see a connect as well, but it's just so easy. I mean, I literally have a mobile business now. And as I was telling Bart, the, the messenger aspect I open my computer, I, leave, I probably have 15 chats going on typically, but it's just so easy. I can send something, um, I can voice text it, I can get some congratulations in this chat, um, but it's allowed me to, to just really operate a, a global business on a, a far more amazing scale than I used to with just email. Now that's that's pretty impressive. In fact, I, I I love that story when you were telling me that yesterday, and I want people to realize that Kevin, or excuse me, that uh, that in the Philippines that rank is platinum, and there's a platinum under a platinum. So you've got two platinums in depth. Now, for those of you that may not realize, the Philippines has had massive amount of problems. They have that's had right. serious limitations on product and on product orders and their warehouses. So when we look at any challenges that we have, it's minuscule in comparison with, uh, with what they have. And they've just made a decision and done it anyway. And, and it's such a powerful story about staying connected to the people that you're, that you're working with. You, you have no idea what's going on in the back of their, of their mind, what they're thinking about, the seeds that you planted that you may be unaware of, and the stories. I like the fact that stories absolutely, um, I mean, stories sell. Uh, it's what stories creates sell. the emotional connection. And now everyone make sure though, remember you can't just go add people into this site and forget about them, you know? It's really important, hey, I've, I've added some people that I've probably forgotten about, so I just wanted to be honest. But to really be effective, um, I try to always then put them into your list, into your genie or whatever you're using so that you know when to follow up with people. But I do like the messenger thing because yeah, you can. You can see that last time you spoke with them, what you've sent them and um so so again i to me it's just another way you can do your business in whatever way you like but for me and especially Alyssa, being a young millennial she doesn't want to go out and do five meetings a, a week you know and she's got a new baby and she's able to operate her business really through social media with what we're creating so it, it really is a, a great way to help it grow and expand your business so Danny, I'm curious. I don't even know if you, if you actually know the answer to this question, but just simply from making the decision 10 years ago to start sharing this and creating these little, uh, these little you know, lunch meetings and duplicating that, helping empower your team, how many diamonds or above do you have in your downline right now? Do you know? I don't know. I need to have the company. Well, Mal has like 26. So, and again, you guys, th those aren't, the incredible thing, Mal, is I couldn't even, I could maybe list five, less than 10 of the diamonds in your organization, right? That's the incredible thing about this is you get to plant a seed that will grow into a, a tree that can leave shade for generations. These are generations really unborn, you guys. And I, I really see that even with, um, you know, my own grandchildren. I've had, I've had, um, Seven of my, no, I've had five of my seven grandchildren born while I've been in ASEA. And um, one, one was just, just being born. But again, the, the decisions that you make will affect generations unborn in your own family and in the lives of others. I mean, I look what Loreen is doing with her children and Mal with his own children, soon to be a lot of grandchildren in that family too, you know, affecting lives unborn that we get to do. And that's the power of this, 
especially as we continue to grow, grow global. You know, many of you might have heard me say, I remember being in meetings when Australia was this far off land that someday we were going to open but that we would open Australia because that would then be the gateway to the Asian Rim. And now to be at convention and at the diamond trips and to see all of these people, different languages, different, the, the great thing about network marketing, again, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, your level of education, but it doesn't matter if you're green, blue, yellow, purple, whatever, it doesn't matter if you're thin, blonde, skinny, whatever, there is a place for you to shine and, and achieve whatever aspirations or dreams that have been not fulfilled in your life. And it also busts through the age, gender, and really the race gap. I just, I love that about it. Nowhere else do I think that you can do that. And that people in their 70s and 80s that I have on my team, there is no way that they could go to a job in their town and start to make not only the income, but the residual income that they are making. You know, Bart, uh, recently I went in for a yearly exam, which I haven't done for years and years, but I thought maybe I should do it. And as I watched all these women checking people in, I just thought, you know what? With my skill level, that's probably what I should be doing. I should be working in some office somewhere, working in retail, selling clothing. I mean, that's really, I don't have a college degree. And I just thought, I can't imagine that being my life. And they were so excited because the highlight of the week was they, it was a, someone's birthday and they were gonna have a potluck. I just, I just can't, I just couldn't believe how we get to, again, gather, celebrate people, when and they talk about the one big trip a year you know what we're headed to the philippines next we just got back from hawaii we're headed to the philippines i'm going to tanzania in january we're going to bali we're going to croatia and rome we're going to bora bora where else but network marketing could you create a life like that that the company incentivizes you to be there you get to still make money while you're there and you get to do it with friends and you get to change lives by doing it. How great. We, we are so blessed and it's so it, blessed. It, is, it is remarkable. The vehicle that we have is absolutely, as Eric Rory would say, it's a better way. It may not be perfect, but it is a better way. Danny, I really want to thank you for taking the time to, to jump on and, and share your story with us, share your vision with us. Um, everything that you talk about, about gathering. In fact, the, the Di Denny's Diamond Days is, is something that you pull together your, your diamond team each year, I mean, you really focus on creating the synergy with your team. And I guess just to wrap this up, I would just like to say that, you know, please don't think small. I mean, the, your, the bigger your vision is, the e easier it is for other people to become a part of it. And thank you for having a big vision and thank you for sharing it with us. And, uh, and because your vision has helped inspire so many people. So thanks for joining us on the call. Really appreciate it, Danny. Thank you, Danny. You know what? Oh, thank you, Melissa. You know, a couple of years ago, I actually found a gift from my diamonds. And there's a company called The Gathering Mat, and they make this beautiful picnic mat, and it was blue, that I was able to give to everybody. And again, I just thought, I just wanted to thank everyone for becoming part of my mat. But again, that the more people that they invited to their mat, again, you guys, you just never know. And I truly believe that people are out there hoping and praying for a difference in their life. They just don't know yet that it's gonna come in this blue bottle. Now remember, you guys, if someone says no to you, it doesn't mean no for right now. Truly, some of the biggest leaders on my team now have been people that it's taken time. So don't force it upon them. Still be friends. You know, gather with them in other aspects besides ASEA because you can have the right person, but it be the wrong time. Mal Sword, I remember being at the bottom of the escalator when you got off that plane when you first came to Salt Lake City. I remember when we gathered there, when Bart had brought you. And again, we knew you were the right person, but it wasn't the right, right time, right? So you guys go back, talk to people, culture relationships, and um, just watch what starts to happen. So I wanna thank everybody. I'm so proud of each of you. I'm so proud of this incredible team. You certainly, I mean, the company without this team, I, I can't even imagine what they would have to chunk out of the company, not only associate-wise, 
but lives that have been changed by people who've taken the product. And again, any money that you ever make is in direct reflection to lives changed. And you guys are changing lives. That is such a noble purpose and such a noble cause. And I love that about it. So anyway, with that, I'm going to leave you all. I look forward to um, seeing the recording of these other leaders that I, that I love and admire. So bye, everybody. Thank you, Danny. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> See Appreciate you soon. Bye-bye. All right. So with that, we'll, uh, um, we're going to move on to our next guest. Did you want to share the screen or just go from here? We'll just go from here. Okay. So... Our next guest speaker is uh, Kevin Ho. Kevin, you just did rank advanced, uh, just blew right past double diamond to triple diamond. Uh, Kevin, I want to thank you for jumping on and, and sharing your, uh, your insights and wisdom. Kevin is from Singapore. And Kevin, one of the remarkable things that really just kind of blew my mind is your product story. It's really quite profound. And, and I, I thought it'd be fun to just... Uh, just have you share a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your story, if you don't mind. Just need to, there you go. Yep, um, yeah, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah, you know, I'm actually in the kitchen right now because um, <clears throat> it's 6.52 uh, a.m. in the morning in Singapore. So my, my kids, uh, my wife is still sleeping, so I have to go to the kitchen so I don't disturb them. So this bear with me. Um, yeah, you know, I, I got to know about Asia to uh, Dr. Wayne Pickstone. Let me share just about five minutes of my story so that you understand where I'm coming from. Um, I'm, a, I'm basically a regional director for a US multinational company. I travel a lot. So in 2013, March, I had a vaccination. And about, ni about, about 19 days later, or almost like 12, 19 days later, I had a massive uh, immune attack in my system. I was really sick. Um, I have uh, brain fog, I have pain in my body, I have joints, um, issues. I have digestive problem all at once. I couldn't understand what's wrong. Obviously, because I work in the healthcare industry, um, I, got to, I, I got to know a lot of specialists. They, you know, they try to help me as much as they can. I went through many tests. So between March 2013 to September 2013, um, that year, almost six months, I visited nine specialists, countless general practitioner, um, did many tests, um, MRI, CT scan. You know, I did a chest x-ray. I did everything, blood test. Nothing could ever you know, determine what's wrong with me. <clears throat> then I went for a, a, a session with a naturopath in Singapore, did a bioresonance test, and he asked me this question, Kevin, by any chance do you have a vaccine in the last six months? Because if, if, if you know that I have vaccine damage, so that was the only time that I realized that I could have a vaccination damage that invoked my immune system to go haywire. Now, Autoimmune is very new at a point in time to me because I don't understand what's that, you know what I mean? Because I'm still very young. Um, and, and I tried many things. So after that, you know, I did between 2014 to, to May 2017, I did countless alternative therapy. I knew a lot about natural supplements, not because I want to, but because I was trying to heal myself. So I, I, I did all kinds of supplementation, detoxification, gluten-free diet, you know, alkaline water, oxygen water, high oxygen chamber, you name it, I probably have done it. Um, but then again, nothing helped. I was in pain. I was like, you know, working from home about four days a week. Um, so I said something to the universe. You know, if anybody who believes in this concept of the universe, so I said this to the universe. If the universe cannot, you know, heal me directly, can you point me, out, can you point me to somebody who can show me how to get well. And I cried for almost like, you know, two to three hours. Um, that night, I, was, I still remember it was in April 2017. Um, I was really, really, really in pain. Um, I was like, you know, sleeping from a, a separate room with my wife because I was always tossing and turning about. So, so what was very interesting was that in April 2017, an email came from somebody I was buying supplements. You know, by the way, at that point in time, I was buying supplements from everybody in the world. I can tell you this. Anything that's new, anything that's innovative, I'll try it. So this person emailed me and said, that, hey, sorry, Kevin, that I, I, you know, I'm sorry to hear that my supplements couldn't help you, but would you like to have a 20 minutes free session with a gentleman called Dr. Wayne Pickstone in Australia? By then, I've seen two naturopaths, five TCM, you know, traditional Chinese medicine, um, and, I said, why not? 20 minutes is fine. So I had a conversation with Dr. Wayne Pickstone, right? Um, that 20 minutes, you know, for the most of 15 minutes, I knew everything he said. 
detoxification, how your body works and things like that. But he said something was really interesting. He said in the last five minutes, I think you have a dysfunctional cell signaling problem in your system. I said, what's that? Have you heard of this thing called redox signaling molecule? I said, no. Then he explained to me why it is. Now, and, but he said to me something very clearly, Kevin, this product is sold by network marketing. You know, obviously it blew my mind, right? I mean, how can something so innovative, transformational, you know, sold to network marketing? That's what my thought. I said, why don't you go to PubMed and then you search. So that weekend, I spent about, you know, one and a half days going to all the testimonials on the website, um, you know, go to PubMed to validate the science. And I said, okay, this has to be legit, right? It's not some, some snake oil. So I said, okay, I'm going to try it. So I tried it. You know, to cut a long story short, I, at that point in time, was not available in Singapore at the Korea from the US. So between May 2017 to September 2017, gosh, I was like almost like 60 to 70% better. My pain was all diminished. You know, I had four healing reactions, but that was nothing. Um, and I, I was on half a bottle a day, which is about um, eight cups of 60 ml a day. And um, I, I was so, so much better. And at the point in time, when I was only about 70% better, I got connected with uh, Mel Sort, right? The gentleman that changed and transformed my life in terms of the business aspect. So he said to me, hey, Kevin, I'm coming down to Singapore. Can you arrange a meeting with about five or six people that you know? And Singapore was new at the point in time. In my mind, I was just thinking, gosh, this guy from Australia asking me to organize an event when I was not fully recovered. And at a point in my at a point in time, I, I don't care about the business. All I care was trying to get myself well. But having said that, you know, because of courtesy, because of um, Dr. Wayne, I said, okay, Mel, since you and Dr. Wayne is coming in September, let me talk to a couple of my associates, which I started sharing, but very passively, whether we can have a meeting. So we actually rented a small room. I still remember, I can, uh, Mel, I think you remember, it was a very small room. There's only about, what, um, 10 people at, a point, at one point in time. So we have had three sessions over two days, right? So, um, so that was our first time we started that. So at that point in time, I was only about 80% recovered, all right? But having said that, the, the technology was so transformational that I had to share. So um, there was no PowerPoint um, that was really, really fantastic. It was not, you know, that's the kind of glossy kind of PowerPoint. It was a very basic PowerPoint that we had. Um, and and it, it was very crude in a way that we shared. It was not... You know, it's not something that you know, I'm used to as well. So from 2017, September onwards, right, Mel, Wayne, Julie, Danny came down to Singapore many times. They supported us tremendously, taught us the business. Um, we learned many things along the way. Um, even for me, I learned a lot as well for my downline. You know, I leverage on people like BK and Agner because they're so good at technology. And the, um, BK did fantastic PowerPoint presentation. And, and, and we shared. We, we, so, so from the formative year from 2017 all the way to 2018 was what I call baby steps, right? It was not something that like Danny, you know, she had all those things going on with her. We didn't. It was trying to learn the business, trying to share along the way. So at a point in time, you know, when I was about 20, uh, 2018, um, um, I, I became diamond. And simply because by just sharing, right? Um, I, I, I use a lot of my testimony, but I realized something, um, but... Melissa, it's not about my testimony, frankly. It's about duplication and leveraging. What Danny said, what Danny said is really, really true. You know, it's, it's about um, sharing and making sure people can duplicate. If a person cannot duplicate, it's pretty pointless. And I learned this a lot from uh, Mel. Mel told me that, look, you can look for builders. You can have a lot of consumer, but they're not going to build the business for you. And he said, you're only one builder from the next rank. So I learned a lot from him as well. So I, 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 uh, I started to share with my team and tell them that, look, the best way to do it is simplicity. So the PowerPoint presentation, I concise it to no more than 30 minutes. At one sitting, one-to-one -one presentation, people have mental fatigue. It should not be more than 30 minutes. So that was what I did as well. Um, I, I, I put it in people in chat group, messengers, as what, you know, um, Dini has done as well. So there's a lot of chat groups going around. Um, and I leverage a lot on my downlines, like BK, Agner. I'm not ashamed to say that they are much better than me in terms of all these tools. So I, I learned from them. Um, and because I have a full-time job, it was almost like difficult for me to really, really focus to, to get all these tools going. But you know what? They are so kind. They share with me. I was educated by them as well. And uh, what, something that we did was really amazing. We started to leverage on a seal healthy self. That was 
transformational. All the testimonies that was there, we started to add people there in the website. We wanted to share. We, we even, you know, PDF some of those testimonies and share in the chat group. Um, and people love story. I mean, you can talk about the science, right? It's fantastic. It's great. But there's no affinity. It doesn't relate to me until I hear testimony. So the testimony bit was very important. And what she said was very true as well. It is not just about the testimonies in the, in the Facebook. It is people's testimony. They need to share. They need to talk about it. And that empowers them. So in our meeting, we encourage people to share the testimony because I think that's the most important. Um, and presentation is always kept short um, so that you know, they can focus on their stories themselves. Mm. So, so that's really my story. And, then, and, and what's amazing, at Malaysia Open, I knew that Malaysia is going to be big. It's going to be 10 times bigger than Singapore. And Malaysians, like Taiwanese, they are builders. I can talk to them about the business. Sorry, I've talked about the science. But after a while, they asked me, can you share me the compensation plan? Because I want to know how much I can make. That was really, that was really you know, I mean, in Singapore, people talk about the, the product, right? You know, how can it help me? You know, um, what's the science? Has the regulator approved it? But in Malaysia, it's about the business all the time. So that's fine. You know, I mean, I, I, I learned that I, I accommodated that as well. So that was the reason why when Malaysia opened, we have a few Malaysian associates was just, you know, the way that they was just, you know, signing up people, uh, opening account was just amazing. It was like I had about, what, 40 to 50 sign up just a week on my right leg. And it, that became a monster leg eventually for me. And that was the main reason that I was able to just go past the double and went to triple because of that Malaysia movement. So uh, I remember when we came over there and, and, and thank you for being such a gracious host when Melissa and I were, were over there not too long ago as well. But um, yeah, I remember you just talking about your passion and being excited for you know, the international expansion and in, in Malaysia. And I'm certainly looking forward to seeing you. I'm gonna be coming over there um, here later this month. So that'll be, it'll be very exciting. But um, thank you for sharing your story because I know that I know that you were um, that things were pretty bleak. I mean, you were you were looking for, you know, is it is it worth being around? You know, I mean, yeah, is that yeah. to say? Yeah. And, and so to see how this has transformed your life, giving you a giving you a second chance, uh, and the lives that you're changing is so profound. I mean, it is we're so blessed to uh, to have a technology that can do that, and we feel so fortunate to have you be part of our team. So thank you for joining us on the call. Today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. Congratulations for all your success. And the fact that when you started this business, you were feeling so unwell, full-time job managing a family, uh, sharing your story and how you were able to pull yourself out of that, leverage off your team to help find a way through and then attract a bigger picture of what you're doing in Malaysia is truly inspiring. You deserve right. all your success, Kevin, and we're so excited you. that you're changing the lives that you are. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Yeah. Now you can go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting up bright and early for yeah. us. And, no, uh, problem. no problem. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. And, and, sorry, uh, we did you want to say anything? No, no, it's just no, I was just gonna say, Mel, if you ever want to uh, chime in, feel free anytime. Yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, so we're, we're going to transition now to Wonder Woman, whom we, <laughs> that's Lorraine's, I call her Wonder all the time, so does Bart. She's, oh yeah, she is absolutely a rock star. Uh, yeah, phenomenal journey with Lorraine. We're so excited about her rank advancements through Double Diamond straight to triple. It's been a fun journey. You've been in there since the beginning. Obviously, your girls, your family are so incredibly important to you. So in terms of the overall transformation of a seer in your life, we're excited for you to share that with us and thanks yeah. for joining us. There's a beautiful video that Asiya featured you on here recently too to yeah. kind of share your background and story, five-time world karate champion and the, um, just your the incredible history that you've got, uh, that you bring to the table. So I remember five years ago, we were, gee, it was five years ago, just uh, almost almost to, to the day, really. The day I hit Triple Diamond was my anniversary when I joined ASEA. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's, uh, that's so incredible. The, yeah. But we are so thrilled mm -hmm. to, see, to see your success and to see your rank advance. And I remember it being in Cancun for the Virtus' big birthday party. Mm -hmm. as a retire, sort of a retirement party. And life was a little bit different back then for you. And, you know, there was something that Virtus said. He said, if you make money, create memories. And I know that you absolutely took that to heart. I was wondering if, just, if you don't mind just share with what life was like before 
and what life is like now, some of the memories and experiences and opportunities that you've been able to, to create for you know, sure. your, uh, your, beautiful, your beautiful girls. Oh, thank you very much for having me on this morning and uh, definitely had some amazing golden nuggets with Jenny and, and Kevin and yourselves. Yeah, so, you know, obviously you've heard the Wonder Woman and the World Karate Championships and everything like that. But uh, look, I was a single mum in 2009 and obviously there are lots of challenges that come along with that emotionally, uh, financially, and I wasn't in a good place. And Daniel Doyle shared this opportunity with me back in 2014. And obviously I was very, very reluctant and like everyone else is, but uh, I jumped on board finally and I had this great incentive trip to Cancun and I thought I'm going for it. And thank God I did, I grabbed it with both hands. And this is the one that Bart was talking about in um, for Virtus. And everyone was there, all the leaders, everyone that you see on social media or on the webinars and the Zooms and the Ed Weens, uh, obviously Tyler and Virtus, Denny, Tammy, Bart and Melissa and a huge crew from Australia. And it was so much fun. And I suppose that just builds belief in the stories that we heard from there. Sort of thought, okay, I found something now or I have a purpose that I know it's going to give me something that I want to do. And we had a web, we had a, a seminar and in that seminar it's where Verda said, like when you start to earn money, make sure you create memories. And that sort of really touched with me because to me, my girls, um, I want to give them a life where when they're older, they're going to say, geez, I had a great childhood. I remember we went there and we did this and I really want them to do that. And I've been doing that with them and it's just been fascinating. So and like five years to the day, I hit triple diamond and I knew I was going to get asked this question. And like, what does it feel like? And it's amazing. I was absolutely thrilled. And I was just, as Denny was saying, she always sees me in the gym and the morning after I uh, obviously achieved triple diamond, I went to the gym and I came home and I just sat in the car having a coffee while the sun was beaming on me. And I was just reflecting. I was like, oh, I did it. It was just a huge sense of relief. And I could almost, like, I'm going to get emotional here, just hold it together, Lorraine. I could almost match it together um, with winning my first world championship. That's what it felt like, like a huge achievement. It's like, yeah, I've done it. Um, and I also now, like lots of people on this call, I can feel and I know you're, you're frustrated that you're doing the things and, and you're not getting there and you're not getting the rewards that you want. These are the bumps and bruises that Danny was talking about. These are the challenges. But as long as you're doing your daily, your DMO, your daily method of operation, which is crucial, you know, the prospecting, the following up, the three-way chat, the three-way calls, getting to events. And don't focus on where you are and how you're frustrated because you're only going to attract more of that. Just the self-belief, where you want to be, start thinking about that. And as long as you're doing those little things every day and working on yourself, reading, listening, you've all heard that from Mao Sword and many other leaders, it's gonna happen. The bumps and bruises, unfortunately, are part of it, whether that's in a physical term or whether that's in, um, you know, being get knocked back with nose and so forth, that's all part of the journey. And I suffered that too. I mean, I was getting frustrated, but I knew that was just, come on, find another way, do this. And I think another thing that really changed for me was I really started to schedule my day a lot tighter and a lot cleaner and a lot better. Um, so from nine to 10, for example, okay, I would be prospecting here. 10 to 11, I'm going to talk to my team, go down in depth, see who needs help. And I'm maybe from 12 to 12.30, it's a lunch break. And I would do that. And I just found that my day was so much more productive. Uh, and that helped a big time to get where I was. And obviously Malaysia opened and other things happened. So yeah, very, 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 very relieved and very, very happy. Very cool. Um, I, I want to talk about, about the, the gathering and things that you've done, but it, if you don't mind, I'd like to just backtrack just a little bit because yeah. it's been fun watching on Facebook and different things where you've gone, the memories. There's, there's been some pretty cool things. I don't know if you want to just share some of that. You just took a really incredible trip to Europe uh, with your girls. and uh, Yeah, I did. Uh, I think the, the, one of the biggest things I did was uh, a couple of years ago, I've always wanted to go to have a white Christmas in New York with my girls. Mm -hmm. So I thought, we're going to go to that side of the world. Let's go to um, the Magic Kingdom, which is in Florida, which is Disneyland. And we did all the, the theme parks there. And we were there on Christmas Day. And I just remember, you know, you have this vision that you park your car and then you just walk through the entrance gate. Well, it's not like that. It is absolutely massive where you have to take a train to get to the entrance from the car park. It's that big. 
and you can imagine the security you got to go through and so forth. And I remember going downstairs in the morning of the hotel and there was a huge queue to catch this bus. I thought, oh no, we're never going to get there by the time the park opens. It opened up at 6.37 a.m. So I said, I'm just going to grab an Uber. So I grabbed an Uber, chucked the kids in, we drove there, caught the train through the entrance, did security, ran to the entrance. And then this train comes with Mickey Mouse and all the characters, right? And they start singing and da 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 Mickey Mouse, all that sort of thing. And then he does this huge countdown to the opening of the theme park. And he goes, are you ready, Mickey? And I does it. And then the whole countdown for me to watch my girls' faces to see this happening was like, wow. I mean, that was just incredible. Uh, and then to New York, obviously it snowed in, I went to uh, Central Park and Rockefeller Centre. I've been to amazing places. Yeah, then we're talking to Mykonos in Europe, um, July, that's just gone. Been to Thailand. Uh, yeah, lots of different places. And I'm going to be taking my youngest daughter, Georgie, uh, to Rome and Croatia because I've qualified for that. So she's the lucky one. <laughs> my eldest one's not happy, but I said, I'll take you on the next trip, wherever that is. I don't know. We'll find out. So, yeah, look, just, just experiences, great experiences all the way. It's just amazing. That is, that is so cool to just to be able to, you know, to create your dreams. And you've, yeah. you've obviously put it out there. It's, it's a matter of manifesting what you want to create and, and, and good on you for, for creating such beautiful beautiful memories for you and your girls because uh, that's that's what it really is about and what other business can we have where we can travel and be able to have those kind of experiences where we're not having the you know most businesses they've got all their overhead and all the employees and they've got all, all the, the headaches right where's it where's my next client coming from and all that sort of thing i know um yeah, just yeah. the freedom um, to be home here for my girls when they come home and have the choice to go and watch them do extracurricular activities uh, to take them to school and just say, okay, well, let's go and do this this week or let's go to Noosa or, or you know, I can stay home and be there for you or whatever it may be. I just love that flexibility that yeah. I can do that because um, I do believe that creating memories yeah. like that is the best education that I can give them. Yeah. And one, one last thing I wanted to talk about uh, with, uh, with you too, it goes along with the theme of what Danny was talking about and that was gathering. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the things that you've, you've got a huge, you know, Asian team. And one of the reasons for that is because you did kind of similar to what Danny, uh, Danny Robinson talked about was to create an event where they could bring people. Yeah. And you had, you had some, a group that really plugged into that concept and you've yeah. created that, uh, that with your team. Do you want to just briefly talk about that? Yeah. So I, um, we're obviously talking about Richard, so, uh, Richard, so, sorry, <laughs> Richard Lee and uh, David and um, Jesse and so forth. I had opened my house to them. So I've got a, an outdoor room and every Tuesday, um, Richard said, look, I bring people around. I said, of course. So he would come around, we would do a presentation and he would translate it. It started off with two or three people to where my side gate was a revolving door. Where I had 30 people out there and I'm sure that my neighbours thought, is she selling the house? All these Asians coming in, what's going on here? She can't get the best price. It just happened week after week after week and it just built this great culture, this great community. Uh, I loved it. I, I learned a lot about their culture. Um, they obviously build the pro uh, business a lot different. They're on the product and what it can do for you. As, as Kevin said, um, every sort of country or nationality does it quite differently. So it's just built a really strong bond um, and I love it. And we still get together a lot. Uh, obviously, Richard does a lot more on his own now, but now I become a special guest, which is great. And I still do that with my other groups and teams. We have home meetings are great, little gatherings where it's a bit more relaxed, people are a bit more comfortable, we're getting up there and telling their stories. And obviously we're, from there, we're trying to get them to an event. So right now we've got Alan Noble coming. Uh, we're trying to get people to that, of course. So yeah, get the home meetings, call it wine and wrinkles or coffee and cake, come around, um, just play the 11 minute video with a few testimonials after and where you get it, what does the product do? and then try from there, get them to one of the events. So if we've found that been really successful over the last probably six to eight weeks, been really good. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much for, for jumping on the call with us this morning. Oh, you're welcome. It's, and we're just, we're just so ecstatic, so proud, so proud of what you've done and, and uh, just excited, so excited for you. Thank you. So, yeah, absolutely. And thanks for your great leadership. I mean, um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much. Congratulations, Lorraine. 
Yeah, you're an, you're an amazing leader, an amazing woman, and I know your team love you very, very much. So <laughs> you make a huge difference. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We've, we've got, we've, yeah, yeah, one more amazing lady. In fact, all the speakers that we have on today are part of Mel Sword's organisation, and Michelle Williams is very special. She's been with the CEO for a few years. She's recently rank advanced gold, but it was really a phenomenal story that we've invited Michelle on to share with you because it says a lot about setting the right intention and absolutely making a hundred percent commitment and not giving up to the last second, the last minute, the last moment to get the new rank advancement over the line. I know Mal had a lot to do with that too. So welcome to the call, Michelle, and thanks for sharing your amazing story. Hi, Melissa and Bart. It's really great to be on this morning and, and talking with you guys. Um, so yeah, my, my rank advancement to gold was, I guess, kind of a surprise for me. Um, Mel came to me at the end of the week, maybe on a Thursday, um, and offered me a promotion to do within my, my own team. And I've really um, learned to love promotions. Um, it's a one way to motivate us and to also motivate our teams because we know people love free product. So kind of like buy three and get one free. Um, was the incentive. But um, so my focus had been on achieving Croatia. So I was looking that week to hit bronze consecutively to get my points up. Gold was kind of something I was thinking maybe I'll rank advance. I had a date maybe in December to hit that. And Mel said to me, what do you think? You can, do you think you can reach gold this week? So it's Thursday, I've got about a thousand points in my back office. And I'm like, okay, gold's 5,000 points. I'm thinking, all right, let's give this a shot. So I just contacted all the people on my team. And as you said, it's about connecting and reconnecting with people. And I had a few orders come through that night. Um, and then as I was working with my team, Saturday morning or about one o'clock, I was looking at my back office. And I was probably sitting at around 3,000 points. And this was at one o'clock and I'm thinking, yeah, maybe this isn't going to happen. Gold is kind of out of reach for me. And a lady that I've been trying to contact all week, a personal of mine, rang me at one o'clock and said, hey, look, I really want to try this product. Um, can I enroll? And I told her, great, we have a promotion on this week. We can do this. And so at one o'clock, I was enrolling a personal. And then my phone started getting all these messages from people that I had contacted saying, yes, I want to go with the promotion. And so I had about six or seven people at the, in, within the last hour want to take part of that, which then got me over the edge to, to reach that um, promotion. So it just proved to me that when you set that intention of um, wanting to achieve something, don't ever give up because things move within the last hour to make that happen. And I'm um, so grateful to Mal for just put, kind of pushing me a little further, dangling that carrot to make me believe that I can do something greater than I thought was possible um, at that time of where I was at in my business. So I, I really um, have a great belief in promotions and it's something that I'm going to use in my team a lot more. And the other thing I loved about, not only did I achieve gold, but I had three people in my team. I had one advanced to bronze, Imelda. Um, I had a new director 300 for Amelda and also a director 700. So I made sure that I wasn't only achieving um, my rank, but I helped everyone in my team to be able to achieve their rank for that week because of the team effort that enabled us to make that happen. That's a, that's a brilliant game of strategy in terms of helping the others with how close they're at as well to rank advance. And I know, Michelle, you do a lot of work on yourself. You really are a vivacious that's not the word, voracious reader when it comes to the self-help books and you really keep yourself in check that way. And you've always been that way as long as I've known you. So in terms of Mal inspiring you to do more than what you believed that potentially you could do yourself, that really shows a true sign of a leader too in Mal and for all of us to learn from that as uplines. But with the books you read, how much of a difference did all that make to your gold run? Yeah, so... Um, I joined the, the business um, actually, it'll be five years ago in November this year. And I've been watching the leaders around. And so it was this year when it kind of clicked. So Mel's always said personal development is key. 
And so he said, you know, if you went to a meeting and someone was earning over a million dollars and they said to read a book for an hour a day or to, to do something, how many of us actually go home and do what they say to do? And there's not many people do. And kind of the penny dropped because I'd kind of do some personal reading and then I wasn't consistent. And so I made a commitment around probably it was April this year where I decided to listen to an audible for an hour a day. And I did it consistently. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and listened for an hour in the morning. That's when I could fit it in. And um, I, then I was doing personal development with Dr. Wayne Hickson. I started putting myself in positions where I can work on me, change my mindset. And I also dropped back from five days at work to three days. So I made some big decisions. Um, which were kind of scary because I was letting go of an income to make some more. And it's interesting, when you make a decision, that's when things started happening in my business. Like I started finding leaders. I connected to a, la a lady called Anne from Papua New Guinea, who was a visionary like myself, who was like, yep, I can see where I can take this to my people and help them. And so all these people started coming into my life and I started developing a team um, and attracting the people that I wanted to work with. And it was all from making that decision of listening to an hour a day um, and changing my thoughts and my beliefs and creating my why and making it bigger. And so thank you, Mal, for helping me with the penny drop. And um, he's a great mentor and I, I so appreciate him, for, especially for coming and talking to me when he came back from America. And um, I was one of the very few first people that he shared this with. And, I saw the vision as a business and I jumped on board straight away. And I love the fact that, you know, it's been almost five years, but I've just been persistent and kept plugging in. So you don't have to be the fastest to get there, but I know I'm going to get there. And so I'm progressing and that's the main thing. So don't give up. Everyone can do this. It doesn't matter where you're at. That's a great message, Michelle. And now I was just wondering, you've had three of your amazing team leaders speaking. Is there anything that you'd like to say to them or anything you'd like to add? Well, <coughs> excuse me. Firstly, a huge congratulations uh, to all of them for, for rank advancing. And uh, I think what's interesting about our business, if you've listened to all of the messages, is that uh, we're all different people and everybody can um, build a business like this. So even listening to Denny, as you rightfully commented, when it comes to social media, I'm an absolute klutz. And I'm probably a klutz at a lot of things. Um, but it's interesting, so you can come at this from many different directions. And so, you know, there'll be people on the call that are very proficient with social media, and there'll be people like me that are very inefficient at social media. But the business really comes down to, do you have a dream? Do you have a reason, a purpose, a mission, something that, you know, you want more of from life? And it really comes down to that. And then, of course, the other thing is, and you've kind of listened to a lot of from Denny talking about personal development, but also uh, Michelle, um, is it's really about us. It's really about, you know, the six inches between our ears determines how far we're going to go with a business like this. And it's a constant process. We, we don't stop growing. We keep growing on and on. But um, so I just have a couple of things I want to say. If I, if I got uh, just a minute, I know there's been a long call. Have I got just a minute? Absolutely. First, I just want to congratulate everybody uh, that's rank advanced and, and congratulate all those people who are trying to rank advanced because, uh, you know, it's not always, you don't always rank advance in the, in the time frame that you want. So there's a lot of people putting in the yards right now. So just, you know, hold, hold your faith that, uh, you know, you're going to make uh, the rank that you want. Just keep going. Uh, we're in a very unique position. Uh, you've heard me say many times, I don't think we're ever going to see this opportunity again. Um, so congratulations, Lorraine. Congratulations, Kevin. Congratulations, Michelle. Well done to each of you. It's been uh, great to watch your, your separate journeys. Um, I just want to recommend a book, if I may, that I, that I downloaded actually in Hawaii, uh, and it's called A Four-Year Career. And for any of you of the 100 people on the call that, that may be not rank advancing as fast as you want, um, that's probably most of us, you know, on the call. I think all of us on the call would rather have a, you know, high rank. Uh, this is a book called The Four Year Career by Richard Bliss Brook. Uh, I love this man's work. I, I saw a, a 
video the other day, Stephen Yesker actually on Lanai with him. Um, but this is a very good book in understanding our industry, understanding the, the network marketing industry and understanding where you might fit in, understanding where you might be at, why you might be struggling. And I think it'll help you a lot in terms of being able to, you know, build your business, uh, build your business on. It's certainly a book that's, uh, I think I've listened to it already three times uh, in the last in the last week. It's an incredible um, audible book from a man who was 40 years in the industry. Um, the two other things I just want to mention, and maybe you guys are going to mention it, but ours is a business of leverage. And there are points in our organizations, building our organizations, where we get opportunities to leverage. Uh, that's to exponentially grow our businesses. And we've got two things coming up in the next few months that will absolutely jettison your organizations if you promote them properly. Uh, number one is the Alan Noble tour. Um, and one of the things that I would I sent out a message to everybody yesterday is it's about setting a goal. Um, sometimes when I call people, they say, yeah, I've got my ticket for that. And I said, terrific, but this is about leverage. And so it's about, okay, number one, how many new personals can you take to, to this, these events? So you might set a goal to say, okay, I want to have two new personals at that event, uh, or I want to have five new personals to the events. Uh, those of us that build large organizations have learned about promotion and these are going to be very significant. If you put 10 new personals into the Alan Noble tour, I promise you, you'll be excited afterwards. And so it's number one, it's about that, the new personals you want to take. Number two, uh, it's about how many people in your group and it's about helping your leaders to learn how to promote to the, to the, those events as well. And that's how you create massive leverage. Um, the second thing, of course, the second big event we've got is the Envision event at the end of February, early March. Uh, and this will be key for a lot of you that want to rank to diamond next year. Uh, this is going to be a key to helping you to explode your organizations. That, that event in um, February will be absolutely instrumental if you work your numbers right to propel your businesses to the diamond rank. Uh, you know, I, I think we all expect to break a, a lot of new diamonds in 2020. And many of you on the call listening right now should be diamonds in 2020. So those two events of Alan Noble and um, Envision in February will be instrumental in helping you to do that. So remember, it's not about what we do, it's about what we teach, what we duplicate and who we can help uh, to understand how to, how to build these organizations. Um, we're, we're, we're in such a blessed position. I mean, I just, you know, every morning I, I give thanks. I really do. I cannot believe how blessed we all are to be on this, on this, uh, journey in this with this company with this uh, amazing technology um, we're just in a, a very blessed position so I, I hope we're all just uh, as a group I hope we're all just grateful to to Virtus that that he didn't sell this technology because otherwise I don't know what I'd be I'd be sweeping the streets probably <laughs> I don't know what I'd be doing so I'm incredibly grateful as I'm sure every one of you are and for different reasons for health reasons also for wealth reasons you know I, I know Kevin yours was a health reason but mine was a mine was a wealth reason I, I was desperate <laughs> so it's been amazing so and, and the last thing I just want to say I don't want to take any more time thanks Bart and Melissa for all the work you do behind the scenes to to make this happen for everybody you know this is uh, such an instrumental part of everybody's success uh, in Australia is, is your, um, you know, your ability to communicate and, and put the work in behind the scenes uh, to putting these kind of webinars on. And so just on behalf of everybody that's on the call, just thank a uh, big thank you to you for uh, always being there to help and support us all. So it's, it's much appreciated. We probably don't thank you enough, but thank you. Thank you, Mel. Oh, thank you so much, Mel. It's an honour that you're in our organisation and your leadership skills and the way you run your business and the way you are strategic and work with your leaders, you're in the trenches with them is so inspiring and we are all truly grateful that um, you're in ASEA as well. So thank you. And um, I, I just wanted to quickly segue back to something Michelle said. So I think it's important to realise the theme of what Loreen, Kevin and Michelle are saying when it comes to being persistent and with Kevin talking about the universe and putting it out there and what we're attracting with Michelle. Just realise that whatever our weaknesses are, whatever we're holding back on making a decision for, whatever, as Mal said, is between our six inches that we're hesitant about in terms of working on ourselves or whatever it is, as soon as we do that work on ourselves, whatever you're hesitant or holding back from, your entire team is holding back from that same issue energetically as well. So when you do the work on yourself, you're actually freeing up your team to not have that issue, to not have that circumstance happening in their life. So 
when it comes to taking the next step in your business, regardless of what it is, whether it's health or wealth, uh, just know that when you do step through that doorway and take that next step and do the work on yourself, you're giving permission for everyone else in your team to no longer have that issue either. And or for people that do have, you can help them through it. So realize there's a much bigger picture to hear and we're so grateful that you're all on to share uh, truly grateful beyond words we too were in hawaii just looking around um, gone back to where we actually got married 17 years ago and we thought to ourselves we are so beyond grateful we just can't even express the place that we we are at that we quite frankly weren't sure if we'd ever get back to again and the, the main theme for us, the main point, is the unbelievable quality and substance of the people we now know, the people a see attracts. Um, usually there's, as you know, an idiot in every group, but when we're at the Diamond <laughs> Summit, we just, there's, there's none of that. A see it doesn't attract those people because of the culture. So uh, we truly feel incredibly filled up based on the quality of the people in our lives now, and it's all thanks to, to Virtus and all thanks to all of you so thank you for where we're at it's because of you Absolutely. so so i'm going to transition did you have anything else no that's it just thank you everybody for uh, for sharing your stories <laughs> yeah absolutely um let's transition back it's just a little bit more housekeeping but it's some important announcements and um, we'll endeavor to get through um before the next half hour so thanks for hanging, <coughs> hanging in there i'll just get back to the powerpoint and thanks again everyone for sharing yeah well stories. melissa's doing that i'll just uh just say, Mel, I appreciate you talking about Alan Noble's tour coming up. That is such a, an important event uh, that's coming up. We'll go through some of the details on that here in the next slides. And Absolutely. Uh, we're going to just quickly cover for particularly new people on the webinar today. Um, Denny had mentioned, and you've heard us speak about these different um, perform peak performance events, which are promotions incentives that a CEO um, run for our benefit and they're amazing. So in terms of the Envision event that Mal touched on for Australia and New Zealand the end of February, there's also an Envision event in Europe, Mexico and North America. Um, you can get this information from aseaglobal.com as well as in your virtual office. But keep these in your mind, take a screenshot or write jot down the dates if you need to, and think of everybody in these countries, in these areas that you can get there. And who knows, um, you may not know anyone in Europe right now, um, you may in tomorrow, next week, next month. So just make sure you keep this on the schedule. They're these are events. life transformational events. These are the events that you want to get people to. Big decisions are made at big events. And Absolutely. so you definitely want to promote the Envision event wherever you're you know, wherever you're at, US or Australia, this is gonna be huge. Wanna make sure that your new people get there and get their tickets straight away yep. when you enroll them so that they can right. plan on that. And then Ascent, you heard Lorene talk about this and Michelle too, when it comes to Croatia, 1st to the 5th of May in Dubrovnik, an amazing country. Um, this will be an absolutely life-changing event, literally. And there's, I believe, 18 weeks left, but we'll go over that a little bit in terms of how to qualify for this very, very special event. And it's followed by the Diamond Summit, but did you want to go into now? Yeah, let's, let's talk about the, uh, uh, this event. This is for... Um, the U.S. market as well. Uh, so the way the way to qualify for Ascent is it used to be that you had to qualify at gold for like like I can't remember it was eight or ten weeks in a row. So the, the the bar was pretty high. What they've done is they've actually made this um, easier for people to qualify, be able to 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 go. And of course, as you earn more points, the company will actually cover your costs and so forth too. So. Um, we're going to just cover the overview, but the widget in your back office, when you click on it for more information, you can see what the prizes are, what the leadership board is, uh, the various rules. We're going to just briefly go over some of these rules so that you can actually be, so that you can actually know what you need to do to achieve this uh, in your business. And I love um, how Michelle shared her story. It was about making the decision and holding on to that commitment. So here's a, a chance for you to really say, you know what, I want to go for this and Put it out there and don't and don't quit so we'll, we'll show you exactly what it takes to achieve this and the different ranks that, uh, levels that you can achieve so um the trip is going to be may 1st to, through may 5th um dubrovnik croatia i've never been there i'm i'm excited to <laughs> i'm excited to, to see it i i understand this is one of the most beautiful places on the on the planet to visit so the qualification period started september the 14th and it goes until the march the 6th 
of 2020. So um, all associates who have not previously qualified to attend a, a CIA Diamond Summit before um, can it go. So the qualification period starts September uh, 14th, as I said. And uh, so let's just take a look at this. So there's different um, prize levels. One thing that the company is looking for is your personal enrollment volume. So to win the ability to, to go, all you have to do is to be at bronze. You have to be a bronze level associate. So if you're not at bronze, you definitely want to do that. Now, at, uh, if you just qualified at bronze, it would be at your expense to be there. You also need to have 500 enrollment points. So as you're bringing new people on, obviously you need to bring on, on someone that would give you one point. So it's pretty easy to open the door. Now, what's better than that though, is to have a CF pay in for your way to be there. So um, if you have 20 points, and we're gonna go over exactly what it takes to achieve these points here in just a second. Um, if you have 20 points, you're, the company's gonna, gonna cover a lot of your cost, your travel cost to be there. Um, and also a lot of swag and so forth. So there's a nice little incentive you can, um, go up to the uh, fourth, third prize, second prize, and the grand prize, um, which is simply more uh, funds towards your travel, accommodation, and so forth. So let's just uh, take a look. And uh, again, you can dive into the details of this in the back office. We're just going to give kind of a, a quick overview. So um, so each level, for bronze, you, you receive one point. For each week that you qualify at silver level, you receive two points. For gold, three points. Platinum, five points. Uh, and so forth. If you're um, a diamond, but you haven't been on, on one of these diamond extension trips, that's eight points for each time that you achieve um, that you hit the diamond level. So that's how that works. So to, you, you do one thing that's important is you need to go into the back office and opt in so that you actually say, you know what, I'm running for this. Any points that you've tallied before you opt in still count toward the incentive. So that's not a big deal, but you definitely need to make sure that you opt in in the back office. And so you're saying, you know, I'm running, I'm going for it. So let's just take a look at this. The qualification period we've already mentioned is September 12th to March the 6th. There's 18 more weeks to qualify. So even if you're brand new right now, or you've been in for just a little while ago, or just a little while, let's take a look at what, uh, what, you, can, what you can achieve. Um, decide what prizes you wanna earn. What level is it that you're going for? You wanna break it down so that you've got a game plan. Uh, and you're strategizing that game plan. You've got to know where you're going in order to get there. And the other thing that might be fun is to say, hey, who am I taking with me? So Michelle, for example, used the, she said, you know, as I'm working through my rank advancement, who can I take with me? She helped several people hit, help someone go bronze. She helped people hit director 300, director 700. So she's bringing her team along with her. And wouldn't it be great to bring some people on your team to this trip with you? Uh, Lorraine talked about the Virtus, um, the, the Virtus party, the trip that we took five years ago. And that was fantastic because we created the synergy of bringing people with us and, uh, and running with that at the same time. So let's just do some simple math here. There's 18 weeks remaining. Let's say in this example, let's say that you are um, you are a, a, a fairly new associate and you've talked with some people. Well, if you make a big run, all you need is 20 cases, 2000 points on your left side, tw 20 cases or 2000 points on your right side of your business and you help two people achieve the, the, uh, the level of director 300 and you are at bronze. So let's, uh, let's say you're going for that. And so let's say that, that for 15 weeks, uh, it took three weeks to get there, that would give you a remaining 15 weeks. Um, and remember there's one point for each week that qualify at bronze. Well, 15 points isn't enough. If you recall, we need 20 points for ASEA to kick in for the travel expenses and so forth. So what that means is that for 10 weeks, let's say you qualify at bronze and as you're building and growing your business, and let's say for the next five weeks that you qualify at silver, then that's going to give you two points um, for each week that you qualify at silver. So uh, five times two for two points each, that's 10 points. That would get you the 20 points that you need. Um, so let's say you push and you get to, to gold, that's going to give you three points for any of the weeks that you go gold. So you can see that's just a very simple example of how to win uh, the fifth level prize. And of course, the more that you do, the more that you achieve and the more the, re the reward is. <coughs> so again, who would you like to, to achieve this with you? Have a conversation with them. Who, do you, who, who are the director 300s? Who are the people that you can help to achieve directors 300, bronze, silver, and beyond? Um, and ask, you know, ask people who wants to go on this trip, create that, 
uh, excitement, create that in enthusiasm, um, you know, put that dream out there and, uh, and create a whiteboard with names and ranks and, and draw it out, plan it, strategize it so that you're really familiar with what it takes to, to win and achieve this, uh, this rank. If you have any questions, call your upline and say, you know, where am I? What do I need to do to, to hit this? Will you help me? Uh, because we want to see as many of you there on this incredible trip as possible. Now, the ascent um, for the Asians is uh, the same qualifications, but it's uh, in Bali. This is going to be a fantastic resort. Absolutely love Bali. I've mm -hmm. only been there. We've been there once, and it was, uh, it was, a, it was a dream, absolute dream. So uh, for the Asian-speaking uh, people, that, that's where that trip is going to be. Now, the Diamond Summit um, is going to be just after this. It's going to be from May 5th to the 9th. So, so just after Christmas. Croatia. Exactly. Yeah, which is brilliant that they've tacked it on the end of the um, Ascent trip. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. Um, and then for the Diamond Summit for the Asian speaking, it's going to be uh, June 14th to the 18th in, in Bali again. So this is a, a fantastic opportunity. It's great that the company is supporting the Asian speaking community as well so that they can really have that sense of, of belonging and can network with uh, uh, with their team and leaders that way in an easier way. Now the legacy trip, this is kind of a mind blowing experience. This would be the, what was previously called the ambassador extension, but it really is a leg legacy experience. This is a trip to, uh, to remember. So it's for the ambassadors. So uh, any diamonds on this call that are pushing for the ambassador ranks, um, this is the, the trip to Bora Bora in Tahiti. Um, certainly a, a, an incentive trip that we're, that we're looking forward to and, mm -hmm. and working toward very hard. So this is, this is so cool that, uh, that ASEA creates these amazing opportunities for us. And uh, they put some pretty, some pretty remarkable golden, you know, golden carrots out there to, to, to go for. So we're aboard, this is gonna be October 18th through the 24th. And in terms of just some announcements we'll run through now, when it comes to ASEA Connect, they're still out ironing out a few bugs, but it's an incredibly useful tool, uh, business building tool. It's very easy for even new, new people to use people who aren't that tech savvy. It's a phenomenal tool that's been put together for us to really grow and expand our business. There is a, a free version, but the idea is to subscribe to Pro as a business builder. They've got a couple of trainings a week. We believe they're still on each week. Um, for you to be able to tap into to get some information. But you can also go to the following website, ACFAQ for a CE Connect FAQ.aceaglobal.com to get any questions that you may have that are outstanding in terms of the transition from Genie across to a CE Connect. And there's an ASEA Connect Facebook page, and you can also take the ASEA Connect mobile tour once you download the app. You can get the app through the App Store or get it on Google Play as well, and it will automatically import your contacts that are already existing in your telephone. So it's really about the connections. How many connections can we make with people? And ASEA Connect is perfect for that because you actually know if they've you know, if the people that you've connected with have opened your email, if they've watched what you've, what you've sent, there's a whole, an incredible library of information there. So get familiar with this and use the ASEA Connect. Absolutely. There's a, <coughs> a desktop version that you can use as well, but it's just a matter of leading by example with your team and starting to use it because it is a groundbreaking tool in our industry and we're very um, blessed and very fortunate that it is, has been launched through ASEA. Uh, just a quick one too, as you all know, ASEA via Amiga was launched at the convention back in September in Las Vegas. Maybe you have come into ASEA without a strong product testimonial that you've noticed a significant difference. Um, for example, as a, according to a health challenge like for what Kevin was talking about with ASEA. Be on all the products as a leader, use all of them, be on auto ship for ASEA products so that your story may come from Amiga you may have an amazing result with Amiga. And of course, the molecules are supporting every single one of the other products that we put on our skin or ingest as well. So um, yeah, definitely use Amiga and develop your ASEA story, which is so important that Denny was talking about. So here is a picture of the, um, it, it's, in, it's actually a banner in your virtual office in terms of being able to order 
um, the acevia, particularly the Omega, right now to be on that. Yeah, if you're in the US, it's in your regular shopping cart, but because this is an NFR product in That's Australia right. and New Zealand, just click on this on this banner in your back office and you can get uh, get it set up on auto ship or, or right purchase now. it now. There's, um, there's some discounts if you purchase three or more at a time, so mm -hmm. you get $10 off each each one. And this is this is pretty cool here. You might want to take a screenshot of, of this little website. Um, Alan Noble uh, showed us the results, I think is on the next slide, of where he started. And this is only after two months where he's actually improved his, um, his essential oils in his body. I'm not sure how to, how to um, say that properly. But <laughs> <laughs> his omegas. Yeah. Yeah essential fatty acids. So the, yeah, this is all part of what Denny was saying, as I said, is developing your story. So get uh, benchmark yourself if you haven't been taking Omega supplements before you start with um, a C of Via Omega and you'll see amazing results. So I'm gonna transition now into upcoming events. A great way to find out what's happening globally is to go to ateamsupport.com, a website that's been put together by all of our upline, Trish and Bob Schwenkler. The password's associate, and you can find a breakdown of information um, in terms of events there. Also for Australia, um, Nicole Dennis and I have developed redoxdiamonds.com. This website, um, to get access to the back office end or the members end, the password's the same, it's associate. This is where you can also book tickets. It connects straight through to Eventbrite, for example, for the Alan Noble Tour, the Envision and Peak Performance event that Mal was talking about. So this is the one-stop shop website in Australia for events. Uh, Redox Events Facebook group that's put together by um, Alyssa Tucker Gold Executive in Adelaide, as well as Sarah Aquilina and, and Mel Croucher. This, this site is phenomenal, or this page is phenomenal when it comes to being able to look up events. So on this Facebook page, if you've got an event that you want to post, regardless of, of where you're, where, this is for Australia and New Zealand, of course, you've got an event, uh, you know, anywhere, make sure that you go into this, uh, into this site and put it in there, schedule it as a new, as a new event. And what happens with this is you can also um, message people on a particular event too. So let's say for example, that there's something happening on the Sunshine Coast here with, uh, with Dr. Wayne Pickstone and Julie, Julie Watts here in just a few days, and you know someone on the Sunshine Coast, you can go in there and, and send someone that you know on the Sunshine Coast the information about this particular event so that they can they can log in register. So this particular training was posted on that event mm -hmm. and make sure that you use that because we want to have one place where every, everybody can go and they can see what's happening when and where and we can collaborate and uh, this whole theme of, uh, of gathering, this is the, mm -hmm. the whole idea and that's a, a great website to help us to gather more effectively. Absolutely. In terms of November, let's just have a look at the global expansion. We've got Dr. David Silverman, who many of you may know is an ambassador to Double Diamond. He will be presenting on Wednesday, the 6th of November in Singapore. And we have the Philippines pre-launch across three cities, Davao City, Manila and Cebu City in November as well, where ASEA President Jerem Webb and ASEA VP of Asia, Carl Anderson will be. The um, Denny, I believe, will be at th these events. This will be a phenomenal pre-launch and we are really excited for the Philippines. I really um, that, um, that first one now has just been changed. Oh, great. Okay, thanks, Lorraine. I had no because idea. Because of the earthquakes. Okay. So what do, do you happen to know off the top of your head? Um, they will announce it. They haven't oh. got a date yet. They're going to okay. wait. And see. That's for Davo City only. Davao. Okay, perfect. Thanks for that. I had no idea. Thanks, Lorraine. Okay, so Malaysia, I see it open September 17. The market is generating 5.3 billion in direct sales per annum. It's the fourth largest direct selling market. We heard a little bit about that from Kevin Ho. So you may not know people in Malaysia right now, but put some feelers out there. Attract, attract Malaysia into your business. This is a great YouTube link on the launch of Malaysia in terms of um, a CEO opening there. It's a really exciting time ahead. We've got our very own Mao Sword and Dr. David Silverman, who will be in Malaysia on the 9th of November. So these, these advertisements you can find on the WhatsApp groups as well and get access to this information. And then there's a phenomenal lineup of diamonds that will be in Malaysia on November 20th. So yet again, check the WhatsApp um, groups as well um, with the flyers there. So exciting time. 
for Malaysia. Thailand, uh, effective October 5th, so they've changed the PV requirements for associates and those residing in Thailand, it'll start at 50 PV as opposed to the regular 100 PV. And the fast forward they've amended as well, instead of 100 PV order, it's 50 PV order and a half the promo points over the same amount of time, the 14 day period, to create more momentum and make business building a little bit easier when it comes to being in Thailand. So this is from the AT <coughs> support uh, website. There's a lot of phenomenal events happening across North America right now. I know the Denver, Colorado one, November 16, it has Karen Riley there, it has um, Cindy and Bo Buck, the Wetzlers are speaking and Peg Coates. So really phenomenal um, opportunity to get people that you may know in the United States to these events. Don't miss these events if you've got connections there. Our last leadership webinar for the year is not going to be the beginning of December if you've got that on your um, in your mind because we usually do run them that way. It's November 30th because um, Bart and I will be heading overseas the first Saturday of December. So we're really excited about that one. November 30th will bring you some phenomenal speakers. We have amazing Christina Williams who will be the expert in the house this coming Wednesday night in Australia, and that's the 6th of November. So you won't want to miss Christina. Everyone knows she's an amazing lady, a phenomenal leader. She has great insights and a really beautiful way of presenting the ASEA story. So Mal mentioned, and you've heard us talk about the Australian tour. Get on redoxdiamonds.com to purchase your tickets and get the guest tickets are free to be at these to hear Alan Noble. Alan Noble is one of ASEA's best speakers. He's been in since the beginning. His vision is massive. He doesn't mess around. He's not going to sugarcoat things. He'll come straight through the front door and he'll let you know what this is about. And he's got a very compelling message, a fun Irish style about him and really great guys. So here are the events listed. And we've got the last two for Sydney and Brisbane on this slide here. I love what Mal said. It's not about being there. It's about how many people you can get there. It's you know, think of the gathering again. This is the place where you really want to get people. I, I assure you, if you get get them to Alan's event, he'll he'll get them in. He's he is a tremendous uh, speaker. He's got a phenomenal story, and this is uh, and and think just do a little brainstorming. Each of these locations, who do you know in WA? Who do you know in Perth? Who do you know in in Melbourne and Brisbane and in, in uh, the Blue Mountains? And say, look, there's an amazing person. I'd love you to check this out and take a look. So. Uh, Definitely get on, uh, get your tickets. The, the price goes up later, so you can still get the, the less expensive tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, the price will go up at the event. So um, just decide who you can bring, um, get, get the word out. Redoxdiamonds.com. That's right. Okay, February, March, Mal mentioned <clears throat> the Envision event on the Gold Coast. So you need to get tickets for this as well. You can get tickets at aseeyourevents.com. Friday the 28th is the half day Envision training with world-renowned speaker Tyler Norton. We call him that because he truly is an impact and an impact changer. And he, he's in, incredible. You want to not, you want to be there. And then there's the full day Envision event on the Saturday. And then we follow that with a peak performance training event, which is in the same location. The tickets are different, redoxdiamonds.com, different in terms of where to go to get them. The ASEA Envision event will be in US dollars. So just realize that when you purchase those tickets, don't leave the decision to get tickets for this event. They go up substantially. So you'll absolutely want to get them, get them, encourage your team to get them now, get them today so that they um, can take advantage of planning ahead. Same thing. Melissa, can I just, can yeah. I just, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt there. Um, no. The other thing uh, that will help people on the morning of the um, 28th, which is the, that's oh, the Friday morning, um, we've organized a, we used to call them a fly-in effectively on that morning with, with Tyler, uh, Chuck and Justin. And so this is an invitation that we have for anybody you've got on your list who's a significant potential builder for a seer, uh, a big hitter. Uh, this will be a private um, a private meeting. Now it's not for it's not for everybody. Uh, this is a this is a special invitation for people that you might have that you've spoken to or that are big hitters sitting on the fence uh, that can get up close and personal to Tyler Norton in a small room. Um, we actually have it's a big room, <laughs> so uh, Kim has said, "Well, bring it on." So, uh, but this is a special time where you can bring potential big hitters in that are maybe sitting on the fence, uh, other 
other networkers from other uh, businesses that are maybe um, not happy with where they are. Um, so that'll be, I, I believe it's going to be 9.30 in the morning, but uh, just stay tuned. But so start putting people, if you've got big hitters probably sitting on your chicken list, uh, contact them and see if you can get them into this meeting. It's very, very powerful with, with having Tyler and Chuck and Justin in that one room, very powerful. So they won't come out of that room feeling, uh, I'm not sure they will be, uh, they'll be, you'll get them over the fence, I'm sure. So sorry to interrupt. Thank you. No, I'm glad you did. Thanks so much. for that. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Val. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, just moving forward in terms of planning ahead, I know that people who have not been to convention before have bought tickets to be there. They've made a statement and declaration. They're claiming it. They're going for it. So the 10-year celebration, we've all been teased with knowing the Diamond Summit It's going to be huge. It's going to be special. So Anaheim's also a fun place to take family to. So. And Disney Land's fun for adults. We've done it a few times as well. So uh, this is just a rundown for you to have um, a look at where to get tickets for different events. So corporate events, typically aseaevents.com. Our Australian Diamond Events, which is Alan Noble Tour is one of them, is redoxdiamonds.com. Redox Event Facebook page that we've mentioned and aseaconvention.com. Um, actually, I should just put it out there. You can't get convention tickets now after October 18 until the first of the year. So I, should, I was remiss in not saying that a few slides ago. So yeah, in, just um, schedule it in your planner to have an, an alert. So early next year, the ticket will be available again if you didn't get them before the deadline um, in October. Uh, this is for our benefit in Australia, the redoxshop.com. They've got materials or tools there that is really, they're, they're fantastic, they're professionally made. Um, Denny had mentioned if you have to repeat something more than three times, make a tool. Here's, here are the tools. We just need to pay Australian postage, so it makes it easier. And, and Bard has actually worked with um, Dr. Robertson Ward, with his wife Diane, to get the price re reduced on these amazing books here in Australia. So they're only $18 a book from I that I same think the price. price was $38 a book, so he's yeah. dropped it substantially, $20 per book. Um, be a good idea to maybe get, get several Ten of these. Yeah. They're... For a, for a big hitter or even to loan it to someone to say, hey, yep. have, a, have a look through here. Gives you a good reason to follow back up. So I know people have used, used these uh, effectively as tools that way too. So definitely, um, to definitely get, a, get a, few of you, a few of the tools for your business. And the newsletter, I'll be putting one out again this weekend. So you can subscribe. The link is not that brilliant. I've been working to try and figure out how to get it shorter but take a screenshot or write down whatever you can or send an email to me melissa cotter at gmail.com to um, get added to this newsletter for upcoming events you can also subscribe um, as well from inside each of the newsletters and we have an amazing gentleman, Ambassador Double Diamond Richard Lee, who is, a, I, I would put out there, he's probably the best gatherer of people in our organisation. So David worked closely with, with Lorreen at her home in the beginning to do those meetings, as Lorreen mentioned. With, and now he does coffee shop meetings um, regularly through Victoria. Uh, he has been in Sydney after the Diamond Summit and the Ambassador Extension Summit working with his team, but he will do a Chinese version of this webinar directly following. We'll stop the recording. So uh, make sure you bring your people on who do speak Mandarin Cantonese for this Asian version of these same slides each month. But yeah, we're very honoured to have uh, Richard Lee do that straight after this um, webinar. So with that, we'll stop the recording just to, again to put out there the 30th of November in Australia for our last Leadership Summit for the year. We're so honoured and grateful for the guest speakers that we've had featuring today on our webinar. Thank you to all of you who've hung on for a couple of hours. We do know that it's an investment in your time to be here, um, but there's not anything that we would trade out. We feel like we really do do our best to add value. And thanks to Denny, Kevin, Lorreen and Michelle, particularly Mal for being here today to make our webinar so special. So we will, unless anyone has anything to add, any of the panelists before just, we go. Just thank you again to you guys for, for, for putting this on. You know, we never want to, um, you know, take this for granted. It's a lot of work goes into organising these things. I, I know just how much work goes into organising these things and you do it on a regular basis. So, so on behalf of everybody, thank you for everything you do behind the scenes. It's, uh, it's much appreciated. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, thank you. All right. Well, with that, we'll Thanks, go ahead and everyone. stop the recording and we'll uh, promote 
uh, we'll promote Richard Lee as, uh, as the host uh, for the Chinese version. Thanks again, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekend or the beginning of it. We'll <laughs> see you soon.